I could say uh, about mom and dad. I mean, you couldn't have better parents. Um, they both had a heart of gold. Um, you know, so many memories. Um, you know, it, it, yeah. There's just so much I could say about them. I mean, you guys know. Mm -hmm. um, but I have some scripture too. We, we have a lot of DVDs of them and things like that. <laughs> so we have their voices. And I guess that's what I miss too a lot is just uh, hearing their voices and hearing them. And, uh, Dad was like the health counselor for the family, but so whenever there was a health issue, uh, he promoted his ideas. And uh, of course, we had to hear from Mom what uh, the new regime was every day, you know. And, uh, but Dad, Dad always wanted to be very involved in our life, you know. Yeah. Uh, he was always concerned, um, you know, about our faith, especially yeah. about our faith and uh, our well-being and everything we wanted to know what we were doing and, you know. he was very committed spiritually and uh, of course he wanted to share that faith no yeah. matter where he was at or who he was with he wanted to make sure everybody knew that jesus was lord and savior and he was a committed christian you know but uh, yeah i could say a lot of things too but we'll talk about that later <laughs> yeah. um i have some scripture too uh to read and uh, some of this I read on the day before each of them had passed away. Um, Grandma passed away in 2018 in March. And uh, two years and two weeks past that day, uh, Grandpa was passed away in 2020 in March. And some of this I read to them uh, beforehand. Uh, from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, 13 through 18, it says, But I will not have you to be ignorant, brethren. Consider them which are asleep that you saw or not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. So death is asleep. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain, the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. The Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall arise first. And we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. So we're here today comforting one another with these words from Scripture. In Revelation 21, this is what I read to Dad uh, in the uh, nursing home and also the mom at the house um, before they passed away. Revelation 21, 1 through 7, and I saw a new heaven or new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. And heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall wipe away all their tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things have passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Right, for these things are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And I will give unto him that a thirst of the fountain, the water of life freely. And he that overcome it shall inherit all things, and I will be his God should be my son. And then just two other quick verses that I think speak very clearly to uh, Dad's life in particular. Revelation 14, 13. Blessed are they that are dead who die in the Lord, that they may rest from their labors, and all their works shall follow them. So we're saved by faith, but judged by our works. And God is a good example of that. Here. And then last one, 2 Timothy 4, verses 6 through 8. I have fought the good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. This fourth error is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord himself shall give me, and all them that love from his appearance. That was the one I was going to read. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you can was, read it. <laughs> I was in the nursing home um, around noon on the 25th of March, and um, you know, I called Grant and told him that, you know, Dad, is I mean they had his whole body wrapped up in a blanket at that point, you know, he, and there was no response from him. You know. And so I called Grant and told him, you know, the condition of him. And uh, in the meantime, I was reading scripture to him, all these different scriptures, and the one that Grant just read is what really stuck, really stuck out, 
you know, to me, for back for both of them, for my mom and dad, um, you know, uh, for, for I am now ready to be offered in my glass again. And the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought the good fight. See, I think both my mom and dad, you know, they fought the good fight. They took care of us. Yeah. Above all, you know, and uh, they worshiped God and uh, had a good home for us. And I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. So that really stuck out, really, uh, for me. That, that, particular verse, life. that particular verse was used at the, uh, the funeral for Joe Cruz, who's the evangelist in the Chesapeake Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, and he had a big influence on that 50 years ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I remember the revival meetings we went to with that. Yeah. Uh, it was in the tents, outside tents. That air bubble thing. That changed everything. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dad changed things up massively for us uh, mm. after that. Eventually, ended up moving to Hagerstown. Yeah. Yeah. All of, many of you have been given that little uh, thumb drive that Phil and I put together a, a PowerPoint uh, story of uh, Dad's life and of course Mom's in too. You know, from Car Two to Hagerstown. Mm -hmm. So if you get a chance to look at it, it'll be very meaningful. There's a photo here that you don't pick one and I pick one. Uh, this is my favorite one. Uh, 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 taken at uh, Mom's uh, mm -hmm. high school reunion in Palm Beach, Florida. And I always like the two of them. Uh, mm -hmm. Our Anybody else have anything else they'd like to say or? I'm glad they're going together. Yep, this is kind of late in the plot. Yeah. yeah. I think Phil and I both had the same desire to win more. Yeah, really would you like to go in the same? Get a panel. Don't want to pay them, but we need to fly with you too. We grow these flowers every year, and every year we made a bouquet of flowers for Grandma Aww. for her birthday, which was August 3rd, 4th. Oh, wow. We always celebrated it on August 4th, but she found a birth certificate to was on August 3rd. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, we picked flowers for them. And Grandpa loves flowers. He likes gardening. Yeah. He always gave us info well, he's on how to do it right. He especially like things that you could grow and eat. Yeah. yeah. He always told Grandma, I don't like flowers anymore because I can't eat them, but if you can mm. eat them, he was more excited. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Raspberries. Well, I guess we could have a little prayer and then we could put the remains in. Father Heaven, we're just uh, grateful for this time the family we can be together and celebrate their lives with Grandma and Grandma. We're thankful for all they've done and their influence in our lives. I think it's going to we know that they're resting now in the Lord, and they're resting in peace, and we all look for that great day of the resurrection, and we'll be all going back together again. We pray that for health, and love, and peace in our own lives, and so much of the examples they were for us. We not to mend their lives and remains uh, to this plot. We thank for all you've done for us, and in my name, amen. amen. Okay. Yeah. Getting the bugs out? Yeah. You forgot one. Yeah. There's a cricket. Hi, Mom. 
Put it that way? Okay. I guess they could yeah. be go other anyway. You want to I'll, do yours? I'll do it. Don't fall in. There's room for me and you, Grant. There. Good. <laughs> put it that way. Let's, yeah. let's put the, I like to put oh, the yeah. picture out of the water. Let's put it in there. You can put them both in so if you want to. Right. I'll put one in. You can. How you like to put it? Uh, it doesn't matter. we do next. Okay, we put the lid on here. Put the lid on. Okay. You guys can seal it. I got it. I got it stuck in the ground. Oh. 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 That's right, because of COVID, right? Nice. Right? You got it. It'll be strong. Yeah. Yeah, it's post day here. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not too far from here. Yeah. yeah. September 1st. Oh, we'll be thinking of you. Yeah, right. we'll send some prayers your way. Yeah. It's a, it's a three month recovery. Oh, wow. Eight days from that. All right. Family. Uh, this oh, is about some of you came later. Gosh. We had talked about sometimes at ceremonies, they, they put a shovel full of dirt hmm. on top, okay. that type of thing. Symbolically, you put a coin, you put a flower, whatever you choose in the grave site. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we put the family in turn. What would you like to do? So, just, okay. you know, I, I guess. I would like to do the shovel of dirt myself. All right. It's symbolic. It doesn't have to be a full shovel. Yeah. Okay. One just passes the shovel to the person who's in line. Okay. Amanda, push Amanda closer and I'll help her with do it too. Yeah, we'll get them all. Okay. What now? No. We'll get them all. Just on top. I think that concludes our time and whatever. Anybody else? I think I'm good. Okay. What I'm going to do is tamp it lightly with my tamper. That just kind of makes the seal a little better. I'll put two buckets of dirt on top and then I'll tamp. And uh, uh, like I said, the beauty of this is we take off 10 inches of dirt, take the lid off again sometime in the future, and it's out of space. Right. Yeah, that's great. Hopefully, we won't have to be back for another 20 years. Well, yeah, so. we still hope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That's why we're here, too, I hope. Okay. Well, thank you for all thank you, you very much for your help. Okay. We appreciate it. Yeah, it's a nice sight.
my mother is very good to treat her. Yeah. Yeah. Good company. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay. Right. So you can breathe. Where do you want to breathe? <laughs> Thanks, Mike, for coming out. Yeah. Grandma and Grandpa in Campton Place. The, the camp of approval. Hey, your mother would have laughed at that. Probably. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you guys were just here in New Mexico. Yeah. How was it? Oh, so Aww. funny. I know. Yeah. That's why we didn't go. Because no. of yeah. Texas to New Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. Because then I would have to tell my doctor and get the Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because I have to mm -hmm. quarantine tomorrow anyway because they have What's me on medication three times a day starting tomorrow okay. so that my blood is thinner than water okay. so because it's in the catheter up to the arteries on both sides wow. and they're going to short circuit and create the scar tissue around my heart. Wow. 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 Mm. Love you. Wow. Hopefully it works. And yeah, I hope it goes yeah. well. Yeah. I hope it works. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. hope it works too. Yeah, I hope it's it worth it. it. Sometimes it doesn't uh, work the first time. What exactly was wrong with your heart? Or like, um, I have a uh, uh, collapsed valve in the right chamber of my heart. So we're uh, supposed to replace the valve, yeah. but they're not doing that good. at the same time. Wow. Out of schedule, they have it March 9th, 2008, with Amanda. That happened to her. I remember. Wow. Yeah. I need to get more dice to use this. Oh, wow. Um, I mean, that's true. Don't take but, yeah. There's a risk, I guess, for any surgery. Well, the guys, the guys that 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 right, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, they, they go the yeah. 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 We, we can leave the flowers. I mean, I don't know if they want the glass jar. We can leave the flowers, though. Yeah, I'll take it. Let's just go ahead and put the flowers right here. I'm going to make a little place for it. closer down this way now. I am. Oh, you moved. Yeah, I'm out in Columbia now. Ooh. Yeah, it's nice. I like the area and we're next to Baltimore. I remember, remember when we went to the coast of Columbia and they had um, Animal Planet, that TV show. Oh, yeah. Animal Planet yeah. with Steve Irwin. Mm -hmm. They were in Columbia. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's to, cool. I picked the kids. Wow. Oh. <laughs> and they have a really cool mall. Yeah, we're like 10 minutes from the mall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have good food around here. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I suggest that they put their, add their names to it. 
uh, <clears throat> whatever you do, that type of thing. But the idea is if you have one, if you'll see some of them that have whatever it is and it just has a little outcropping, it'll have like a haze. Yeah. The haze can be turned upside down. Yeah. I see. And that way the mowers go over top when it's not used. You'll right. see a couple of them like that. Yeah. It's, uh, you don't have to go to the, the big ones like this one's got <coughs> urns on the, the base. There's all different kinds. If you want to have something that's, you know, won't be as well, be honest with you. Nice meeting you all. And, yeah, uh, you we, we do have some lobster sales. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in a non-profit cemetery still. So that's how we try to stay in business. And that type of thing. Some of the air bags are Good to you prepare. Don't, you don't think about it. And I have to tell a quick story. Uh, we were over the hill here one time. There was a wall or two. And I saw somebody. And they were from another country. And so I said, this is all we have to sell right now. And then she said, oh, I think the water would run into the grave site. I don't like being in the hill. And uh, so we're walking back to the car. And we walked by the sign up there. You'll see a sign right there on the driveway. And she said, she said, you know, if there's something in this area would be uh, good. I said, well, how about this one right here behind the sign? She said, oh, that'd be great. The people wouldn't have to walk so far. So I said, well, that's my son. <laughs> so I went home and told my wife, I hate to tell you, honey, but I just sold one of our plots. And sign is on the other one. And I did that years ago with a felt company to sign out here. And I used to be back in here. Maybe I saw it. And we even had to have a scout party. And I went home and said, I think we'll find another one. Just, uh, we did. We uh, we created some more lots, and so I'm uh, good with it. I'm good with it. So, uh, my husband said, "No, I just sold a lot." Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, anyway. Okay. 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 Can I take a picture of all of you? Yeah. Somehow. That'd be nice. Okay.